Yeah, make it. Yeah. Pull well, your stool around there, Keith. I'm fine. Where do you want? Where do you want him? Back over there. Yeah, and that yeah, way that I can. We can look at the group. Okay. If she says cool, then that'll be better than looking at the camera. I'll be looking at a group. You want just put your stool. Right, get on, sit your seat. All right. All right. We're all good. I'll sit here. Come on right. around here where I can see you a little bit. Yeah. There, well, now. Let me know when. That's better. All right. <clears throat> all right. I appreciate your patience. Thank you. This is the Classic Hits 93.1 Comedy Couch, brought to you by CRS Exteriors. I'm Frank Murphy. Hello. <laughs> is that for me or the couch, this Julie the Scoggins? Couch. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Thank Good you morning. for coming. Happy How to have you. you. Thank you. This is our cool little comedy couch where we get to visit with all the headliners from Side Splitters Comedy Club. And Where'd it come from? Was it new? Uh, we stole it from the internet department well, back in the Well, you don't know what's happened on couches. I'm just... Yeah. But no, anyway, uh, there was this, this one. Nice. There was this one DJ. Um, he doesn't work here anymore. But he would take self... <laughs> How many stories have started that way? <laughs> he, would, he was big into selfies. And yeah. uh, so I would look... I would be at home at night, and I would see him put a selfie on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And it would be him on my couch here. You know, he doesn't even work for this station. He works for one of the other stations. And I came in the next morning, and there's this grease spot where his face was right here and I got I yelled at him and said get off my comedy couch you creep you don't have to lock the door I do I mean it's weird and then the the, the hip hop station down the hall they've got what's called a love sack which I is like bet <laughs> they do <laughs> but there's a bunch of them <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying so that's that's our so normally radio stations don't have you know furniture and they're black guys too so yeah. <laughs> they're probably like anyway Julie Scoggins I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm I apologize this you're is, all good you're all good keep it's me a laughing nice family show you're gonna keep me laughing you've got uh, five shows at Side Splitters Comedy Club tonight it's the Moonshine Show tomorrow Only night one of them is tonight though well we'll get back to that in a second because I have so many Moonshine questions. Uh, <laughs> Like, how do you make it? Um, it's the question. Then uh, tomorrow night, the early show on Friday is Girls' Night Out, GNO, uh, with Julie Scoggins. Yeah, and then, and then regular shows time. late Friday and Saturday. Uh, so let's talk about the Moonshine show on Thursday, first of yeah. all. How'd you get hooked up with that? I just, I'm just, uh, I say prayers. <laughs> 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 and sometimes, <gasps> poof, I love moonshine. I love it, love it, love it. And Tennessee is the place to get it. See, I'm a damn Yankee, and I love moonshine as well. Oh. But I like the flavored moonshine. I'm, I'm the, the the pure stuff. I don't think I'm strong enough for that. But like, you put the put the apple pie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm laughing. Maybe you go put, ahead. The apple pie flavored. That's my favorite. Yes. I mean, I even have, before Moonshine became legal, I had a contact. I had a guy. I would meet him in a oh. parking lot and give him 20 bucks for a jar of Moonshine. I would do that now. Well, <laughs> I mean, me I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> um, but my, I brought some home once from a, a show I did at a VFW. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. When you're starting out in comedy, you do everything, right? If they pay you, you go, right? <laughs> and, uh, it was so far back in the woods that my phone quit about... <laughs> 15 minutes ago. Oh my gosh. You know, off the main road, mm -hmm. right? And these guys brought me this apple pie and my, I took it home. Oh, first of all, they, when they brought it to me, they were reverent. Yeah. And they were, they were holding it like oh, it right. was like a, a religious artifact or something. Exactly. They were going, we want you to have this. <laughs> And, oh, my God, yeah, and, and I took it home. <laughs> it's like Indiana Jones. <laughs> it was in a brown paper sack, but they had handled it so much that it was perfectly formed. You could read out. mason jar. You could the read <laughs> mason, exactly, exactly. So, but anyway, and then I took it, I, they gave me one, I sipped on one there and then took one home. My husband wouldn't drink it mm -hmm. because he wasn't there. He didn't see where it came from, and he's like, you don't know who made that. Those people, you, you go blind if moon, moonshine isn't good. And I well, said, you, let me tell you something. Yeah. If you'd have seen the guys who handed this to me, mm -hmm. somebody was wearing overalls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They've been doing this generation after generation after generation mm -hmm. in their families. They're not cooking meth off of Google. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> They have been knowing how to make good liquor, and they and I got that apple pie from them. I swear to God, one of them, you yeah. know, popcorn Sutton is yes, the famous. Yes, absolutely. Oh, from he's right around here from Cobb oh. County. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I dig him too. So and now his recipe is legal. They've they've uh, his descendants Whatever. have taken his recipe and they're Paula selling Dean. it. Paula <laughs> Dean. Whatever. 
They probably, yeah, they probably packaged it up. I, I shouldn't say it that way. They probably packaged it up and made it marketable because he's yeah. a legend. Yeah. He's a legend. Well, there's so many now. You got... went out like a rock star, man. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to jail. I'm taking myself yes, out. Yes, uh, boy. He turned about, what, 67? And he said, that's it. I'm done. Y'all. Well, now, I mean, I've seen the truck driving down the street with his big face on the back of what? it. What? <laughs> I know. My family, well, at Christmas, or Thanksgiving, we got invited over and, uh, my cousin's wife told me to bring a, something, yeah. you know. Yeah. I like that when it's over at somebody else's house. And um, just bring one thing. And I took apple pie mm -hmm. to their house. Now, these are good. These people sing in the choir and stuff. And they don't really drink at all. And so when I came in, I said, I brought apple pie. And they were looking for the kind you eat, you know. And I was like, hell, it's a covered dish. It's got <laughs> lid. <laughs> but anyways, but I did take it. And I tried to take it. When I was leaving, and my cousin snagged it and said, oh, "No, yeah. uh, you just leave out of here." You know? Oh, I brought some to the New York State relatives, the other you know, ones for uh, Fourth of July, and they can't wait for me to come back. When are you coming back? Bring some of that uh, Tennessee. And the plus side too is, if the lights go out, uh, if the power goes off, you've got can burn it for heat. <laughs> that's and why they were. Light. That's why they were holding it so carefully because if they dropped it, it would have burst into flames. That's the only show I have ever done. Well, there's been two. I take that back. Since then, that there's actually been a live dog. At the VFW? Sitting, yeah. It had a seat. Was it a seeing eye dog? I took a picture of it. No, it was a beagle. <laughs> it was a hunting dog. These were country ass people. And that dog was sitting up. And he was better behaved than about half of them. Right. No heckling. That was one of those places you could smoke. Oh, sure. You know, the private VFW in the middle of the woods. Well, That's yeah. a good show. Yeah, they, they can't not smoke. <laughs> I don't think they're, they're crazy. The sign says no not smoking. You know? <laughs> I did two shows there. I, I went back. I did one, and we had such a good time. I went back about six months later. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my God. Well, Julie Scoggins is going to be at Side Splitters Comedy Club this weekend. A girl's night out also is kind of special because why? I don't know. I'm not. Y'all break out your good shoes and come compete with Bridget. Oh, she's got the shoes. The lady That's who runs Side Splitters. That's the shoe queen Whew. right there, son. I didn't used to have a foot fetish until I befriended her on Facebook. She rocks it from the <laughs> pedicure right on down. I wish I could wear shoes. How many heels on them? Four inches? Yeah, they're special. I'd, if I stood up in them, my ears would pop. <laughs> I'm 6'2". I cannot <laughs> wear the shoes. I don't care. I, li I tried... People like, man, them drag queens are getting good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't, but I can appreciate the, appreciate a good the art eye mm -hmm. that she has. So a lot of, uh, do you do any special girl jokes for the, uh, for the girls' night out or anything unusual? I don't think, I think I just, uh, yeah, just we just visit. Hat. All right. And it's a good time too. Well, you know, we'll get some at Moonshine. We'll give them leave some. Oh, there you go. Now, I also wanted to ask about your previous career because you're you're so ladylike, and <laughs> Sorry. but you were a truck driver, yes. and I am fascinated by that because um, yeah. I, I don't know about. I mean, I want to know more about truck drivers. Well, back when I did it, it was the way different than it is now. Okay. I've been a comedian for sixteen years. Yeah, you know, and I was. Um, I was doing it part time mm -hmm. when I started doing stand up because it paid really well and yeah. I could just go when I wanted to. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. I had to, I, I never turned down comedy work to make real money. Okay. <laughs> I always, comedy came first. Cool. But I could go do that. Yeah. But, uh, well, you had some stuff in your, in your routine a few years ago. Oh, back, back then, she, we didn't have a GPS, man. You took a truck to New York, you had to have a, a uh, atlas, mm -hmm. a road atlas, and a flashlight. <laughs> That's right. And a magnifying glass sometimes, because they're tiny. You can't. They cram a lot in one page. You know? Well, something about truck drivers nowadays. The reason I'm asking is, is one of the uh, uh, the Heart Association was telling us we got to come up with something to to do for truck drivers because they're not healthy. You know, the American Heart Association, they're worried about what they truck drivers... They can make the working girls in the truck stop set up over across the parking lot and make them hike their fat asses <laughs> over there. Yes. <laughs> That's what they can do. <laughs> That's about the only thing I know. <laughs> I'm calling. I'm telling them that. That's brilliant. That is it. Lot absolutely. lizards is what they're called. Lot lizards. 
<laughs> Make them walk the uh, the five k to the lot lizard. It's pitiful. That's hysterical. They out there in dead of winter, ten degrees in fishnet hose, freezing their ass off, just wanting somebody. <laughs> it's sad. I used to hang a bra up on the horn. You know how the horn yeah. is a cord that you pull down on. Uh huh. I'd loop a bra through it, and that was like kryptonite. It was like <laughs> your service not needed here. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> it was the equivalent of a do not disturb was, or <laughs> Yeah. And, and one time one time this girl actually knocked anyway and uh yeah. oh she pissed me off. I was asleep in the bunk and I rolled the window down and stuck my head out real disgustedly and said you know, showed her that I was a woman and mm -hmm. I said, I do not think I need anything you have in here. <laughs> and she just rocked back on her heels all buzzed and said, You don't know <laughs> I was like, Oh yeah, hell yes I do. Because <laughs> she's she's equal opportunity. She will bring I it. I don't give a damn. That <laughs> cheetah fur coat, you look whatever that pelt is you got on it and coming in here. Now one other thing that was that I gotta Girls ask you should about. not wear animal print. Yeah. If they're bigger than the animal that oh. come off of. You know, that's Especially all I'm saying. During hunting season. I don't wear giraffe print. <laughs> I'm 6'2", but you don't see me wearing giraffe print. <laughs> I shouldn't be ugly. But wear what you want to, that's girls. Right. And come out Friday night and yes, wear it. Wear your you got, shoes. Uh, SideSplittersComedy.com, by the flip way. flip flops. Oh, you know. Not Dress up. Do you have a problem with flip flops? I, I don't know. Hey, I, I feel you know what? If people from Marvel want to come, come on, Marvel, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I love Marvel. So I was looking you up on the internet. Um, I go down there to the Harley shop. Yeah, and then you had Marvel. a thing about um, uh, Wisconsin. I've been in Wisconsin. <laughs> so the coincidence is our company headquarters is in Wisconsin. So oh, oh, at the oh, don't so you know? <laughs> for for whatever reason, they put the the big W logo on all of our emails this morning. I guess because of the Sweet Sixteen or something like that. So I'm, I'm, I, so it's just this weird thing. I'm trying. I'm in Tennessee, looking at the w University of Wisconsin logo. Here, and you do a Is bit. that the Badgers? Yeah, I know about them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I mean, I go up there so much. I love going up there. Honestly, uh -huh. that is some of the nicest people. But you know what? They're frozen <laughs> half of the damn year. They're appreciative. <laughs> they are so nice. No, really, they help each other out. Mm -hmm. They're into cheese though a little bit Big much. Time. Big time. They wear it. Oh the my God. Mascot on their head. I love cheese, but mm. you know what happens when you eat too much of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. My, yeah. You yeah. can't go either. Yeah. You gotta eat the brand. That's why that football team's called the Packers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I wondered what they were packing. Now I know exactly. <laughs> At least it ain't fudge. <laughs> oh, oh, did I say that out loud? Cheese Packers. Cheese them. Packers. Hmm. Well, I hope you get some nice cheese while you're uh, while you're here. Maybe we have some something else for you. Moonshine I'm cheese. I'm doing a show up there in about uh, Easter weekend in Kakana. That's where that Kakana cheese comes okay. from. Okay, well, man. I'll send the link to our uh, station up there. Y'all got one in Kakana? Uh, somewhere. I mean, we've got Hell yeah. Green Bay, or we've got uh, man. was Milwaukee or something. Sure. Well, I would love. <laughs> See, there was a reason I was supposed to be in here today. <laughs> Not just to have a good time, but that's yeah. wonderful if you would do that. All right, sure. I'm I'd doing. I'm working out a deal with this little place called. They used to have a big club there mm -hmm. called the Comedy Quarter, and it closed. Ah. And and I have a big mailing list in that town. Lots of fans and lots of people that come back whenever well, I'm there. Well, that's where the Harleys are from too, right? Up in Milwaukee. Wisconsin. Okay. Milwaukee, yeah, but yeah. that's not far. All right. And um. Oh, yeah, and they, they come. So this time, I, I want to keep it alive. I've been going every year. Now that the club's closed, I still want to go back anyway. Oh, that's nice. So I'll work this deal out with this bar. So anyway, tell them. I will. When it comes to, I don't mean to take up your Tennessee time <laughs> talking about that. Well, there is a thing called Tennessee Talk, and my wife says that I have completely embraced this. Because we didn't, we, we've only lived here 12 years, but I love it here. And I understand. Aren't the people not? Yes, but part of Bless it is. Bless their heart. Exactly. You <laughs> budget <laughs> some extra time. You can't just leave. You got to, you know, how's your mom and them? And then you talk a little bit and then you leave. So you can't just make a quick exit. It's rude. You I know. can't make a quick exit when it's just me. <laughs> 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 I go back for stuff four or five times. Oh, yeah. But I, you like I do love it here, though. And you like to meet with the fans, obviously, after the show. You communicate with them online. 
I do. And you, I have a mailing list that people can sign up on. If they go to juliescoggins.com, mm -hmm. then they can click on the mailing list. And you can tell me what cities you want to know about. Because some people want to know about Myrtle Beach. It's their vacation. Las Vegas. Yeah. You know, and I send out one for every city. You only get one per city. Uh-huh. Because... Uh, That's clever. Well, it doesn't annoy anybody. I yeah. don't want you to get pissed off and, and unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing a newsletter and all that mess. I just tell you when I'm coming to back, you know? That's good. I got stuff to do. I got candy to crush. I can't be <laughs> spamming people. <laughs> Yeah, are you hooked on those games? I've got uh, a very close relative, my wife, who is uh, oh, it's plays horrible. plays some of these different ones. I don't know if it's Candy Crush or whatever one other one she plays. The, this new one where it's numbers. It's all numbers. And They're designed by psychiatrists, psychologists, that scientists that know the reward sensation in your brain and mm. what triggers it. The combination of the right sounds, movements, and colors, and all that stuff. Yeah. For it to make you as obsessive about it and it doesn't give you something to eat, <laughs> you know, you have to reward monkeys that do the same behavior over and over and over again, right? You have to give them something, uh, hit a crack or something. Yeah. And uh, this thing is uh, insane. I did. I deleted it off of my phone once Good. already. I'm back up to level 500. <laughs> 500. <laughs> and my husband just hates it. Hates it. Yes. Hates it. Yeah. Yes. So I have to go in the bathroom and turn on the fan and shut the door and act like I'm still in there. I know. I'm like, don't come in here. It's bad. <laughs> I'm 50 years old. This is the first time in my life I've ever been disappointed because I pooped too quick. <laughs> Eat more cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Frank. That's a, oh, and then your problem solves your problem. All right. That's awesome. All right. Well, God bless you. Y'all look at my website, juliescoggins.com. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. and and then sidesplitters.com. Sidesplitterscomedy.com. Right? Sidesplitters and then you comedy. click on uh, Knoxville, and it's all right there. You can buy your tickets online. And uh, also do check the Facebook page. There's all sorts of great discount codes you can get. And make sure you get to Girls' Night Out Friday night, the Moonshine Party Thursday night, and uh, Saturday, just the hoot and the holler. Come on down. All right, We're going to have a good time. We are. All the people from Marvel, come on, too. <laughs> they don't have GPS. The they, they still have the map and the flashlight. <laughs> All the defenders. You know who you are, defenders, the guys in the police motorcycle organization. Y'all, I know y'all are here. Smoky mm -hmm. Mountain Chapter. Yep. Come on. Bring on out. All right. Well, it'll be great to see you this weekend. Thanks so much. Thank Julie you Scoggins. for having me. It was fun. This is the Classic Hits 93.1 Comedy Couch brought to you by CRS Exteriors. I'm Frank Murphy. How about that? It's we should have sat closer the whole picture. time. We were all separated. Take a picture, though. Take us a shot. <laughs> well, I did a that steal. so the logo, they'd see the logo. <laughs> no, you just leave it like it was. You don't have to say it was for the logo. You did it because you wanted to snuggle up. I do want to snuggle up. I wore some No, I mean, the reason I, was, I left space between us was for the logo. <gasps> I understand. I, I thought you meant because you I would much scooted. rather. Oh, right. This is much more comfortable. Are you done? I'm not. Oh, wait. <laughs> Here, selfie. Oh, that's Bridget texting me. See, Bridget, did I get the plugs in? Mm-hmm. Yay. Here, let me get yeah. on that side. All right. Because I'm right-handed. <clears throat> That's what she said. <laughs> wait, wait. How lovely. Ta da. Yeah, you. Sweet. <laughs> I just got my hair cut yesterday. He, it always right, looks like a pea. When seven. they do it. Wait. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. They suck my stomach in. Oh, I know. Wait, about wait. That. <laughs> Watch out where your hand looks. <laughs> Put it here. Let me do it. All right, pick one. <laughs> all right, all right, paparazzi. I was just seven. I don't know. Sorry. But that's the best way to I get a good really, one. You know looking, how to do it. I wasn't looking where my hand was. I know, but you know what? It, it, you, I know it was only on my knee, but, oh. but the, the angle of it will make yeah. it look wrong if you're not careful. Well, I have a private story I could tell you. If I wasn't married, I wouldn't give a shit. When I worked in a alternative rock station and this porn actress comes through. Oh, Lord. Well, what do you expect? And her husband it takes the pictures, right? Yeah. So uh, damn right he does. <laughs> so he's got the camera. He takes oh, the hell yeah. <laughs> and um, she stands there and says, "Okay, ready for the picture?" So you're standing like some stupid DJ, right? And she grabs your hand 